Evening friends, it's Pastor Owen here, and uh, we're coming to you live by a lakeshore for a little bit of a different feel for closing out Easter Sunday. What a day it has been. We started this morning with an empty tomb, and this evening we end by a lake with the story from the Gospel of Luke, which continued from this morning. Luke chapter 24, verses 13 through 35. On the same day, two disciples were traveling to a village called Emmaus, about seven miles from Jerusalem. They were talking to each other about everything that had happened. While they were discussing these things, Jesus himself arrived and joined them on their journey. They were prevented from recognizing him. He said to, him, said to them, what are you talking about as you were walking along? They stopped, their faces downcast. The one named Cleopas replied, Are you the only visitor in Jerusalem who is unaware of the things that have taken place there over the last few days? He said to them, What things? They said to him, The things about Jesus of Nazareth. Because of his powerful deeds and words, he was recognized by God and by all the people as a prophet. But our chief priests and the other leaders handed him over to be sentenced to death, and they crucified him. We had hoped that he was the one who was to, would redeem Israel. All of those things happened three days ago, but there's more. Some women from our group had left us stunned. They went to the tomb early this morning and didn't find his body. They came to us saying that they had seen a vision of angels who told them that he is alive. Some of those who were with us went to the tomb and found things just as the women said. They didn't see him. Then Jesus said to them, You foolish people, your dull minds keep you from believing all that the prophets talked about. Wasn't it, wasn't it necessary for Christ to suffer these things and then enter into and then enter into his glory. Then he interpreted for them the things that were written about himself in all of the scriptures, starting with Moses and going through all of the prophets. When they came to Emmaus, he acted as if he was going on ahead, but they urged him saying, stay with us. It's nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in and stayed with them. After he took his seat at the table with them, he took the bread, blessed and broke it, and gave it to them. Their eyes were opened and they recognized him, but he disappeared from their sight. They said to each other, weren't our hearts on fire when he spoke to us along the road and when he explained the scriptures for us? They got up right then and returned to Jerusalem. They found the 11 and their companions gathered together they were saying to each other, the Lord really has risen. He appeared to Simon. Then the two disciples described what had happened along the road and how Jesus was made known to them as he broke the bread. This is the word of God for the people of God. Amen. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. You know, this story follows the one that we, rode, we read this morning at sunrise. And it's from Luke and it's the one with the several women finding an empty tomb. Peter went and checked it out on, for himself. And sure enough, Jesus leaves. So sure, and sure enough, no Jesus. So he leaves and starts to head home, wondering where Jesus is. You know, I think the story rings true of our Christian experience. How often do we, in hindsight, recognize how Christ has been at work in our lives? How often do we just seem to be prodding along our own life, making our own way, and perhaps even wondering where Christ is? And then something happens, and we look back and we realize that Christ has been with us the whole time. This story also follows a pattern of Jesus revealing himself to us. Think back to this morning during the John reading. Mary doesn't recognize Jesus until he calls her by name. In tonight's story, the two disciples don't recognize him until he breaks bread together with them. Hmm. 
Jesus breaking bread and being recognized as the Son of God. Sort of sounds familiar, doesn't it? Jesus chooses when he's going to, re to reveal himself to us, and it can happen at any time. The key for us is to be ready for when that happens, to be open and ready for Jesus to open himself up to us. So on this Easter Sunday, as we reflect, I challenge you to reflect on how Christ has revealed himself to you today. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for another Easter day. We thank you for the glorious empty tomb. We thank you for the disciples walking on the road and meeting a stranger and then breaking bread together and realizing that it is no stranger, that it is you, Jesus. Lord, we just ask that you open our hearts, open our souls and open our minds to getting to know you better over these next days. Lord, just be with us until we can gather again. We ask all of this in Jesus' mighty and precious name. Amen. 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 Friends, may God's grace shine upon you, and may, you be, may he bring you peace. Go with the blessings of God the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And he is risen. Amen. He is Amen. risen indeed.